What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you remember in the last one, I created my very own NBA team. If you haven't seen that already, I recommend going back and checking that out. But in this one, we are going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks in our first game of the season. But no further introductions, let's get right into this. So here we go, opening night. Atlanta starts off the game by getting the jump ball. They're going to miss that first basket. Already in, I guess, a fast break here. Take it in for the dunk. And we do. What a powerful way to start the game. My offense, honestly, isn't that bad in this game. I think it's my defense that just completely kills us in every game that I play. Try to give it to Wall. Go in there for the layup. And we get called for the foul. I, I guess the foul isn't really against us. But we're going to go to the free throw line. First one is gonna be made, and the second one will be made as well. Yeah, it's that's something you're gonna see a lot in this game. My defense is really bad, so we're just gonna have to live off of our offense. And then right there, they take the ball away from us, so that's not gonna be good. Stuff like this keeps happening, and they just take it down for a fast break. We start to fall apart. Once we get into places like that, it's inescapable and we will end up losing no matter what we missed the layup there not gonna lie commentating on this game is extremely hard it's like constantly moving there's no stoppage kick it out to wall i don't know why he started dribbling there i want to take it around to the outside just like that go in there for the layup and we drain it john wall is honestly my only hope i feel like he's the only player on our team that is somewhat decent. I don't know, maybe someone can change my mind by stepping up, but for now, I'm just gonna rely on John Wall. Speaking of, he gets called for the foul. I'm expecting Trey Young to make the free throws. He makes the first one. And he makes the second one as well. Kick it out to Wall. Go around again, and we lost the ball. The stop here would be big, but if we give up points here, it will not be good. He's probably going to drain that, and he does. 10-6, to six, this is where we start to fall apart, especially if we're not making baskets ourselves. That will be tough. Atlanta on another fast break. We slow them down, but they're probably going to score anyways. Yeah, that's going to be drained. 13 to 6 is the score now. That's going to be pretty, but we're probably not going to make it. Yep. I don't understand why the shooting in this game has to be so hard. Like, I swear, they make everything. How does the computer make every shot? This is like the second or third hardest difficulty. I just really want to see what the hardest is like, because even this is really hard. Can someone explain to me if it's like this hard all the time or if I'm just that bad? Gonna take that inside. That should be made. And of course it's blocked. He's gonna drive inside and he's gonna make that one as well. Already 17 to 6. Falling apart really quickly here. Gonna take the three with Wall. He's gonna miss that. And now they are driving down court again. An incredible pass. I don't know how he did that. And then our coach is just going to call another timeout for us. Going to kick it back to Mills. He's going to shoot the three. And he actually makes it. No way. We actually made a three. That is an absolute miracle. I didn't know it was possible. But they're going to drive it in. And that's an easy layup for them. Kick it out to this guy. Back to wall. Go around outside. Do we take another three? We're going to drain that one. Let's go. Back to back made threes. 21 to 12 now. We actually tip the ball away. They get it back though. They're going to miss. They get their own rebound and make it. Pass it inside the wall. He's going to miss that one. 
Oh, we block it. Completely rejected. Pass it out to Wall. Drive inside. Do we shoot it? No, I can't risk it. Out to Wall for the three. Somehow they haven't made a shot here. They're going to shoot that, and they actually miss. Okay, that's something positive. Wall inside. That's going to be made. And, and one. Okay. We make the layup, and we go to the free throw line. Make that free throw. Just like that. We're only down by eight, which isn't that bad. 15 to 23 is the final score at the end of the first. Honestly, not bad. I thought it would be a little bit worse than that. Those two drain threes were pretty impressive. Was not expecting to make those. John Wall is out of the game now, which is a little bit scary. Oh, that is fantastic if he makes the layup. And he's going to miss it. 15 to 25 now. Out to Milton. Wide open. And he drains that three. 18 to 25. Our three-point percentage is actually decently high. I feel like we've only missed a couple, but we've definitely made at least three. He is going to miss that. They get the rebound and they make it. 18 to 27 is the score now. Go inside and we get fouled. We are going back to the free throw line. This time with Shake Milton and we make that first one. Try and make the second one. And we should and we do. Trey Young is back in the game for them. Please miss that. They do. They get their own rebound again. And they make it. I feel like that's a reoccurring story in this one. They miss, get their own rebound, and then immediately drain the shot from underneath. Pass it to Lamb. Go for the three, I guess. And that is a very clean dunk for Atlanta. Moving the ball around here. Try and go inside. That's not going to work out. Three with Barden. Nope, that was a brick. They're probably going to make that one, and they do. 20 to 33 now. Go inside, they're going to foul us there. Wasn't a shooting foul, so we're just going to have to pass it in, I guess. Oh, we have to take that three. The shot clock was bothering us. Trying to play the best defense we can here, but they just go inside and dunk. Man, I, it really, really bothers me when the coach calls timeout on us. I feel like the anger just sinks in when he just waste our time out put john wall back in the game hopefully that helps us out go inside not gonna shoot that but they foul us again back to wall juke him out go inside and he's gonna miss the layup Ah, the alley-oop. I don't understand. Our offense isn't amazing either, but our defense is horrendous. Wall inside. They foul us again. Back to Wall. Try and go around. That's not going to work out. To Milton outside. Drive inside. Shot clock violation. I didn't even hear it. I thought there were still like 10 seconds left. That's that's nice. They get the rebound. They make it again. This is unbelievable. Milton outside. They, they're going to steal it there. Fast break. Nobody's going to catch up. Maybe Wall. If he makes that, that would have been crazy. He misses it. We actually get the rebound for once. Driving down court. Wall for the three. He's going to miss that one. 
And they're gonna take it in for the easy dunk. Drive it inside, we're gonna get fouled once again. Milton at the free throw line, he makes the first one. Only down by 20. Oh sorry, make that 19. That was sarcasm by the way. See, like, what are we doing? That is unbelievably sad. They just go in and, like, dunk like it's nothing. Mills outside, pass it to O'Neal. Back to Mills, three. Oh, that was way off. He misses that, and, of course, they're gonna get the rebound. One minute left in the second quarter. We block it for once, drive it down court, and go in for the layup because he is too short to dunk. That's a little bit reassuring, but they're just gonna go in and, oh, they missed, okay. Mills playing defense, they're gonna make that one anyways. Milton outside, back to Mills. I don't know where to go here. O'Neal outside. Mills again, pull up jumper. Oh, we actually make it. I thought those shots were completely rigged and we'd miss all of them, but maybe it'll work out for us. 13 seconds left till halftime. We are down by 19. It's probably just gonna waste out the, the rest of the clock here. He is gonna miss that final shot, so going into halftime, down by 19. I think at the end of the first quarter, we were down by nine, so Atlanta definitely had an offensive explosion in the second quarter. That, or we just cracked a bit on defense. I don't know why that interview just like blasted into my ear so loudly. My eardrums will not be thanking me. Now we have the halftime show that just says halftime show on the screen, that's nice. This is my favorite halftime show, I just love staring at the, at the blank screen. Yeah, the rebound margins are insane. They have 21 and we have six. That is definitely unacceptable. Somehow we have four blocks, so that's decent. And Mills has seven points. Also a surprise. Start of the second half. Pass it to Noel underneath. Back to Wall, that was a pretty funky looking pass. Wall inside and we get fouled again. I feel like they fouled us like easily nine or 10 times at this point. First free throw is gonna be good. And the second one is perfect as well. Now we're only down by 17. There's our sloppy defense again. We foul him, so now he gets a three point opportunity. Wonderful. Nice job, Brooke Lopez. Makes the free throw. It has hit me that this is gonna be a very hard franchise to play through. That's what it's all about, just rebuilding the team, making them better. Outside, Milton. Go inside. Back out to wall. Layup. It's going to be blocked. And they actually throw up a brick. Wall, fast break. We're going to miss that one if we took the shot. Lamb with the three. He's going to miss that. Guarding Capella inside. He's gonna throw up another brick, okay. Looks like the Hawks are in a bit of a dry spell here. Wow, I don't know how I did that, but that looked very impressive. Bogdanovich for the three and he drains it. I swear, man, these timeouts that we are wasting is so, so getting on my nerve. Another foul, we make the shot too. Three point opportunity for John Wall. And he's gonna miss the shot, okay. Barton inside, well, that was beautiful. Wish we could do that every time. Young outside, see that, how is that happening? How does someone get that open? Like there's nobody there. Lamb inside, that was clean.
He's going to drain that one as well. Wall inside. Oh, that was beautiful. Commentators are not reacting at all because they're still talking about Trey Young's dunk or layup, whatever he did. Barden outside. Gonna go back to Wall. Need to get a shot off. He's gonna miss that one. Not even gonna play defense at this point. We lost this one. I've given up all hope. Barden inside. Gonna go back out to Wall. Inside Porter. He drains that one. Down by 24. Wall inside, we make the layup, okay. We're just, see, like, that is so stupid. Back on offense here. That was a terrible shot. Definitely my fault there. That wasn't even the computer's fault. And then he's just wide open. He's going to make that three like he always does because we're just not covering. We're going to miss that. This was an absolute annihilation. First game of the season was not how we wanted that to end up. Looking at the box score, Trey Young only had 15 points. It looks like their points were very spread out. Almost everyone on their team got like double digits. On our team, John Wall got 17. Mills with 7. Bledsoe with 6. From there, I mean, we only had like two players that didn't score. Those are the two players that you'd expect to not score, so our shooting was a little bit spread out as well, which is what you what you'd like to see. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video more than I did, because that was not a very fun game to play through. Hopefully in the next one in our home opener against the Kings, we do a bit better. It looks like their scoring is better than their defense, so kind of like the Hawks, I suppose. Let me know how frequently you guys want me to post this. If you guys enjoy it a lot, I will post it like once every three or four days. If it's not as popular, we can do it like once a week or so. But once we do start getting better, our players start developing, we get more more depth on our team. It will turn out to be a pretty, pretty fun and interesting series. I mean, first game, I wasn't expecting to like have us be the blowout winners. With these rebuilds, you just have to like sit through it for a while until you start getting good. After our home opener against the Kings, I might start playing through a little bit on my own time and skip to like more important games because obviously we're not going to get through this entire 82 game season or 83. I don't know how long it is. But anyways, have a great rest of your day. Peace out.